Hello, my name is Seolito Rodriguez. This short presentation is about the title and abstract of a scholarly writing. What is the purpose of this presentation? First, I will discuss key elements of an effective title. I will explain how I created the title of my project. I will defend the title and an abstract for my work and uh, finally I will suggest asking for advice regarding uh, the title of your work. The title, key components. The title of a scholarly work has to represent the whole. So the reader must have an idea what the entire work is going to be about by just reading the title. The title must attract the interest of busy and distracted scholars. When you look at a title, especially if you are a very busy person, you decide whether it is worth it or not to continue reading. So uh, the title uh, must accomplish this goal. The title must clearly specify the subject of your work. So when you choose a title, it must clearly say to the readers, to the public, what the subject is. They must know exactly what you are going to be writing about. Uh, attracting the right readers will depend on the title too. So obviously, um, not all work is intended to everybody. Uh, when you are writing a scholarly work, you have to keep in mind or you have to choose, you have to decide who your readers will be. Or in other words, what are the, what is the main community uh, for whom uh, you are writing this subject? And again, uh, attracting the right readers uh, is the responsibility of an effective title. Uh, finally, the title should be informative. Um, you need to inform the subject. You need to inform your intention. So all of these are uh, key elements. All of these are responsibility of a good and effective title. I have chosen uh, three titles for my subject. and. Uh, and the reasons why I chose uh, these titles. Well, actually, out of these three titles, uh, I have chosen one, which is uh, number one, and it goes uh, Bitcoin, the virtual currency that is revolutionizing the way we pay for goods and services and accumulate wealth. Title two, Bitcoin, the virtual currency that has the potential to disrupt traditional banking and three can Bitcoin disrupt the world banking system the way we know it so far I think that I'm gonna go with number one um, I I have asked a couple of friends in, in the technical community, a, a couple of uh, colleagues, they gave me some ideas and, and actually these are not even the original titles that I originally created. So based on the information or based on the feedback that I got from those friends, I actually uh, modified uh, these titles. And so far, I think I'm going to go with number one. Uh, that may change, however. Now, why do I think that these titles are effective? Well, first of all, I believe that they represent the whole. So somebody looking at this title will have uh, uh, information about the entire uh, project, what the project is going to be about. At least that's what I hope. Number two. Uh, attract the interest of busy people. I definitely think that uh, these titles attract busy people. Anyone that has a little bit of interest in, in, in this subject, that has read about it, um, looking at this title will go like, uh-huh. Um, at least I know I would, and, and I'm hoping that many people uh, would also. 
Uh, three, specify the subject of my work. Well, I think that uh, any of these uh, titles clearly specify the subject of my work, which obviously is uh, Bitcoin. Uh, four, they attract the right readers. Um, this this subject is not intended for everybody. Obviously, this is more for um, the technical community, people that, but at the same time, it may attract people that are not technical, people that are in the financial sector, or people that are in the uh, in the legal community. Uh, and again, so th those are the the readers. Those are that is the audience that I'm trying to attract uh, with this uh, with this work. And, and finally, I believe that uh, either of this uh, title is informative. Um, so those are the reasons why I think they are effective, and uh, that's how I got to. Uh, to come up with this uh, three titles and again uh, so far I think I'm gonna go with number one the abstract key elements the abstract has to attract the right audience uh, similar to the title but the abstract uh, contains more content the abstract must develop their, their interest in reading the work in its entirety in other words, um, once the title has done its job and attracted, you know, the right people, it is now the job of the role of the abstract to uh, basically develop interest in continue reading the entire work. The abstract must provide further information about the main subject. The abstract must clearly indicate the contribution of the paper in, in more detail than the title. The abstract must provide information about the type of contribution. And, and finally, the abstract is a summary of your contribution. It, it must uh, summarize the entire content of the work. Keywords, main points. When writing a scholarly work, it is important to think about keywords before writing an abstract. Uh, you should identify three to five keywords and basically you use these keywords uh, to help you focus attention on the major subjects of your work. Uh, my keywords are a Bitcoin, virtual currency, distributed network, legality and volatility. Uh, so those are the uh, focus of my project and whether I put these words or not explicitly in the in, in my project, I will keep these words in mind as I write my abstract. Okay, as I promised at the beginning, this was a, a short presentation and this is the uh, conclusion. So what did we cover? Well, uh, first I discussed elements of an effective title and abstract. I talked about the importance of keywords when you are writing your abstract. I explained how I chose my title. I gave examples of e effective titles and abstracts. Well, actually I give examples what you should do to get uh, an effective abstract even though I uh, didn't write an example of that. And finally, I provided a list of words that I will use in my work. Thank you for uh, watching this presentation. I hope that you have enjoyed it.